Hey what's up guys, it's that kid Jake and today I want to give you my preview of Mac OS X Mountain Lion. In this video I want to talk about all the new features that are coming in this software update it's going to be released by App One around 2012 this summer. So in this video I'm going to go over each section that they have on their actual website and I want to talk about exactly what's going to be in these new uh, features. So obviously this is inspired by iPad and iOS in general, bringing a lot of the iOS um, new features, iOS 5 in particular, and bringing them to the Mac OS X uh, platform. So everything will be a lot more integrated with like if you have an iPhone and a Mac, it's going to be a lot more integrated so that everything works together better. So let's get started with iCloud. So iCloud here, uh, as you know, iCloud was introduced in WWDC 2011. And what it does, it syncs all of your music, all your movies, and everything. And once you download it on one device, it goes to all your other devices. And uh, also, this does it for uh, all, pretty much everything, all your notifications, all your reminders, everything. And it goes to the cloud. And with Mac OS and Mountain what they're doing here is uh, an easier setup with iCloud. So once you buy your new Mac or you get a Mac, you're just going to sign in easily to your um, iCloud account or make a new one and uh, sign into all your other devices and everything should be integrated so it's easily just starting to work right right there. Next we have Messages. Now Messages was uh, introduced in the iOS 5 update and it's pretty much like text messaging uh, but this is a little bit different. You can message from your Mac now and you only can message for free uh, to other devices like any other iOS device, so from iPad to Mac or iPhone to iPad and stuff like that. And you can send videos, photos, and obviously text messages. So uh, it's like a similar format to what's on the uh, iOS version. Now Reminders, it actually has the exact look and feel of the iOS 5 version and pretty much it's going to be integrated with iCloud so if you put a reminder on your phone it should automatically sync to your Mac and then everything should just be integrated and you can manage tasks on there. Also notes is also going to be integrated as well so you have uh, all your notes that you do on your phone and they're going to easily come on your Mac and then you could also do some notes on their Mac itself. The notification center just like iOS 5 you're going to have uh, either some pop-ups, notification banners and also just all your notifications there so if you have a calendar, you have some meetings or you have an update to install everything should be there and all your mail so it's going to be really easy to keep up with all the new stuff that you're getting so that's a really cool feature that's coming to Mac also share sheets is uh, pretty much uh, sharing directly from like apps and also uh, most importantly web pages so if you want to share an article you can instantly tweet it or message it I really wish that they would uh, do a little bit more than Twitter because uh, I wish they would like do more like stuff like Facebook because a lot of people are on Facebook, almost everybody, and uh, I wish they would integrate with more uh, different uh, companies so that they can have more, not just Twitter. And also, just like I mentioned here, you can just tweet from right from your apps, and then Twitter is like, just like on the, um, iOS devices, Twitter is like heavily integrated. Also, you have Game Center coming to the uh, Mac here, so it has a similar look and feel and uh, pretty much you can make an account, find friends, find different games and also uh, play with more uh, people and uh, also just find new games and have a better experience gaming on your Mac and so that's really cool and if you use Game Center for your iPhone it should integrate with your Mac so you can uh, get achievements and all that really cool fun stuff. Also Airplane Marrying and for this you're going to have to have to have an Apple TV if you don't. If you're just using a regular HD TV, um, you can have the Apple TV, the box, not the actual TV. Um, the so you can like when you're on your Mac, you can uh, I think wirelessly transmit your video signal to your Mac to your HD TV, so you can work on it. And if you want to share a video, it's automatically on your TV there, and that's really cool as well. And also, Gatekeeper is just making you uh, more secure of your Mac. So uh, protecting you from um, malicious software it gives you control over what to run and what to download so you can have a better safety. And uh, also some new features are for China users. I won't get into that um, but because I'm not really experienced with that. So that is what's uh, available. And also you can download Messages Beta as you see here. And also if you are a developer preview you can download that. And I think that's a hundred dollars. 
uh, I'm not sure if it's like a year or a month. I, I'm not exactly sure. I'll get. I'll put. It, I'll put the links in the description where you can just get all this information, and also to the split page if you like to see it for yourself. And then also there's a video you can watch of them actually using it and showing it in actual devices. So that would be a great video if you're really interested in it to watch that as well. And pretty much, uh, like I said, this is integrating iOS to Mac OS X. I think this is a great idea because I would like everything that I have on my uh, uh, iPhone to be integrated with my Mac. So everything works together, you know, like I said, better. And if you don't have any other iOS devices, like an iPhone, I, iPod Touch or iPad, I wouldn't see like a huge difference from upgrading from Lion to Mountain Lion. But uh, usually uh, their software update for Lion was $30, so um, I wouldn't be surprised if this one is $30 as well. So this is, uh, I think, would be a great update for us iOS users that also have own a Mac. So uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you have any questions about anything, just let me know, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. So thanks for watching, guys.